This man and his dog walked across the entire world in seven years. Yes, they went around the planet on foot and they almost died doing it. A guy jumps off and basically holds me at gunpoint with a shotgun. Who is this guy? How does a dog walk around the earth? And how did they survive for seven years? This is the incredible story of the man who walked the earth. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Tom. This is my dog, Savannah. And together we walked around the world. Tom grew up in the US and lived a normal, happy life until one day this happened. My close friend Anne Marie died at 16, I was 17. When Tom lost his friend, it devastated him and he fell into a deep depression. But it also taught him an important life lesson. When she passed, I realized that life was short and I wanted to make the most of the brief amount of time I have here. So he decided to do something crazy. I wanted to see the world, but not like a tourist. I wanted to walk in the shoes of other cultures, and so I decided to walk around the world. Tom secretly prepared for many years. He saved up money, he got a sponsor, and then he finally started his adventure. He was allowed to fly or sail across water, but on land, he had to walk. So to have walked around the world, you have to walk the circumference of the earth, and you have to have crossed four continents, ocean to ocean. The only things he brought with him were his tent, camera, laptop, clothes, and food. All in this baby stroller. The advantage of the baby carriage was that it wasn't on my back, and I would be able to carry much more with me. First, he headed south from New Jersey towards Mexico. And that's when he made a new friend. I found Savannah in Austin, Texas after four months of walking, and she's been with me ever since. Step after step after step, Tom and Savannah continued. From Texas, they went down to South America. It's day 279, and Savannah and I have just entered Nicaragua. And all the way to Antarctica. Then they took the walk to Europe. We're gonna cross into Greece today. We've been in Albania for two weeks. Look at this girl. <laughs> to Northern Africa, to Central Asia. And honestly, I just enjoy the act of walking. I like the challenge and I like the meditation of walking. Savannah's favorite part of the walk was definitely Kyrgyzstan. We were roaming the mountain valleys for two months and she was off leash the entire time in beautiful green pastures. And then they went back to North America to walk from Washington State back home to New Jersey. Even though this sounds like a fun adventure, it was not easy. The walk-in has been really tough, super humid down here, and I was really struggling uh, physically and mentally just because I was just trying to overpower the heat. He survived impossible weather from blizzards to deserts to typhoons. They slept in the wild with all kinds of animals. In France, I woke up at about 2 in the morning with 200 boars around me. They had to deal with crazy visa rules. In Algeria, I had a 24-hour police escort. So the entire 40 days, I had police with me. Savannah got really hot when she walked in the full sun. And Tom almost got killed twice. In Panama City, I was held up at knife point. And then in the mountains of Turkey, just north of Syria, I was held up at shotgun point guy jumps off and basically holds me at gunpoint with a shotgun. I'm freaking out. I'm thinking I'm getting robbed or I'm going to get shot. But they were nice guys. It was all good. But after 45,000 kilometers and 45 pairs of shoes, Tom and Savannah reached their goal to walk across the planet. I am the 10th person to circumnavigate the world on foot. And Savannah is the first star. What Tom did is incredible. And even though most of us won't walk across the planet with a dog, we can all learn a valuable lesson from him. Be reckless. Don't be afraid to fail. Go after your dreams. We will all die. This is a fact. So you better do something crazy with your life today. Figure out what you want in life. Set a goal today and just start walking.
This is the first woman in the world to visit every single country alone. Yes, every single country by herself, including North Korea. And guess what? She was also the fastest to do so. How long did it take her to complete the world? How much did it cost her? And is it harder to travel as a woman? Or is it easier? In California, USA, I found Cassie. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Cassie, and I was the first woman on record to travel solo to every country in the world. As a woman, Cassie was always warned about the dangers of the big bad world. She was told to stay safe, or else she would get raped, beaten, or killed. I wanted to travel the world alone and leave all preconceptions at the door so that I could formulate my own opinion and experience about countries that I visit around the world without any outside sources telling me what I should feel or think about that place. I just wanted to be completely open-minded and have my own experience. But one day, Cassie decided to face her fear by doing something no woman has ever done before. She wanted to see every country in the world and she also wanted to beat every man by being the fastest. It took three years total to plan my trip around the world. There was so much planning involved. I had to secure the visas, the sponsors, the investors, and plan the entire trip. There was tons of work. I wanted to do it alone and I did. It was a huge challenge because to be on the Guinness World Record, there were a lot of rules. She cannot spend longer than 14 days in any country. She cannot just drive through a country and she must have physical proof of being in all countries, including North Korea. I wanted to overcome my fears by facing them head on. And if I succeed, then women around the world could see that achievement and say, I can do it too. And if you're wondering, how much does all of this cost? Well, $10,000 only. The rest of the money she raised from sponsors. Eventually, Cassie had enough money, so she packed her bags and began her journey to visit all 196 countries in the world. Even this one, this one, and this one. This is the I love all Afghanistan. We are one. As a world traveler racing against the clock, she faced a gazillion problems. I mean, from bribes, the police had gotten involved twice in these situations that were out of my control. And as a woman, it was even more difficult, but she did everything to protect herself. Throughout my trip, I made sure to keep in touch with friends and family via Instagram, texting, phone calls, and GPS. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Throughout the whole journey, she didn't find danger, only kindness everywhere. Thank you. She saw that humanity was beautiful. Humans at our core are all the same, and that's a main lesson that I learned from my travels around the world, is that we all just want a roof over our head, a hot meal in front of us, and someone around who loves us. She met mayors, ministers, and even once, she met the King of Spain. And eventually, she went to write a whole book about her journey. And believe me, the world is not always filled with bad news and danger. It's actually filled with normal people, just like you and me. At the end of the day, Cassie beat the record at 18 months and 10 days. One and a half years to visit the entire planet faster than any other human ever. This is what women can do when they have no limits. They travel the world alone, become peace ambassadors, and even beat us men at our own game. We should stop teaching girls to be afraid. We should encourage them to go out there, to pursue their dreams, to break records, and to do things better than anyone else in the world.
The man you're looking at has traveled to 194 countries without ever using a plane. Not even once. Not even once. He will be the first person in the world to travel the entire planet without flying. How is this possible? Why is he traveling the hard way? And is he going to swim all the way to Antarctica? In this tiny apartment in Hong Kong is where I found Thor. Hi, my name is Thor and I'm going to be the first person to reach every country in the world completely without flying. Right now, Thor is in Hong Kong, but this is not his home. In fact, he has not had a home for exactly 7 years, 2 months and 27 days. 7 years ago, he discovered that no one in the history of humankind has been to all countries in the world in one single journey without flying. So, he had a crazy idea. Why shouldn't I be the first one? So on the 10th of October at exactly 10.10 a.m. with just a pair of shoes and a backpack with everything he owns, he left his home in Denmark and promised himself to never return home until he's finished. If we try to dissect that for a moment, it all comes out to that it's every country in the world. Yes, every, 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 every yes, yes, that country too. Yes, every country in the world in a single journey, completely without the use of flight. So he ditched the plane and got on a bus. Exactly 336 buses, 158 trains, 25 container ships, 8 trucks, even once on a horse carriage, and zero flights. All of this while spending an average of just $20 a day traveling. $20 a day. I always look for the cheapest option. That means $1 meals, $1 buses, $1 SIM cards. And sometimes I also meet people who let me stay at their homes for free too. What Thor is doing might sound really easy on paper, but the truth is it's really, really difficult. He had to deal with visa problems, accommodation problems, spending months on board of a container ship just to get to where he wanted. And for conflict zones, entering the country also means risking his life. One time I was going from Cameroon to Congo on a dirt road with no one else around. It was in the middle of the night and suddenly we were stopped by three uniformed men. They were armed to the team. They were drunk out of their mind and I thought that I was going to be shot right there and then. And if that's not enough to discourage you, imagine spending seven years on the road without a home, without seeing your family, without seeing your friends. It's been really hard and many times I wanted to quit. But I think if I do, then I'll regret it for the rest of my life. So far, Thor has been to 194 countries, with only 9 countries left before he officially finishes the whole world. Many of the remaining countries are islands that are very far. They are in the middle of nowhere, like Maldives, Palau, and Samoa. Now, the inspiration might come from me never, ever, ever, ever giving up. This crazy journey has allowed him to experience the world like no one ever did. What Thor is doing might be pretty extreme and he doesn't recommend it to everyone. But what he definitely recommends is for everyone to travel more, see more, experience more. Whether inside of a plane, on top of a cargo ship, or on your feet.